I just recently picked up the Canon EOS R50. Absolutely love this camera. It has a battery that is the LPE 17 battery. When you get a camera, you want to purchase additional battery. So when I bought this camera, I asked the stockist if they had OEM batteries for Canon. They didn't have them. And his advice to me was to go buy third party batteries. Looking online, I found this one from Enigon. This is a dual charger, a dual USB charger, and it takes the mini USB. What is the difference? These batteries from Enigon are the same milliamp hours at 1040 milliamp hours. So they will have the same runtime as the Canon original OEM battery. But here is the difference. These batteries are partially decoded, which means that they will work in the Canon EOS R50, but they will not report the battery health. This is a new feature in the R50 that I have just seen, and the original Canon battery will say that the battery is charged to 100%, and the battery health is at 100%, as you would expect with a brand new battery. The aftermarket batteries, however, do not show what their battery health is. They do show that they are 100% charged, similarly to what the older cameras and older battery systems did. Now, another thing to note is these aftermarket batteries will not charge in the original Canon charger. Okay, so they do not charge in the Canon original charger. However, however, you can charge the OEM battery in the Enigon charger. And I tested this today using an inexpensive power bank that I purchased from Kmart Australia. It works perfectly. And you can charge the Enigon battery and a Canon battery at the same time. Interesting to note, the Canon camera reported that this battery was a DR18 battery. And this is definitely an LPE17 battery. And it works flawlessly in the Canon R50. So if you're looking for a battery solution for your Canon R50 and you want additional batteries that you can charge on the go with a power bank, I can recommend the Enigon dual battery charger and batteries for the R50.